there seems to be a lot of confusion behind whether or not a fox can breed with a dog. The two are related by the Canada family. However, we intend to clear up any misconceptions by answering this absolutely. A fox cannot breed with a dog. They do not share a compatible number of chromosome pairs or genetic materials needed to interbreed. Science has not documented a single case of hybridization between a fox and a dog. A lot of times people jump to conclusions, especially when there is not enough data to support a claim. There is a lot of false or inaccurate information out there, so we are going to break down exactly why a fox cannot breed with a dog. The Canada Family The fox is related to dogs through the Canada family. Both the dog and the fox are related to wolves through this same scientific family. The difference between the two is that the fox diverged from the wolf lineage around 12 million years ago. Dogs diverged from the wolf lineage around 40,000 years ago. This is why foxes are so different genetically from other Canada family members. Dogs were domesticated just around 30,000 years ago. Most scientists agree that the dog's closest relative is the modern-day gray wolf. Many of the differences in genetics between foxes and dogs has a lot to do with the geographical territories that they come from. The fox is the most widely dispersed member of the Canada family. Their lineages come from multiple continents and regions. Dogs have also become widely dispersed throughout the world, but for different reasons. That being domestication. Wolves and dogs share a lot of the same genetics because of their close relationship with each other. That is why hybridization is possible between these more closely related canids. Foxes, on the other hand, have evolved through a longer period into a completely separate genus. This makes their genetics very different than their canine cousins. Are fox-dog hybrids real? The theory of a fox-dog hybrid is considered an alternative theory of evolution and is not accepted by the scientific community as clear evidence. Of the accounts that do exist of there being a hybridization between foxes and dogs come from the 1800s to early 1900s. A few to mention being zoologist Reginald Pocock and Reverend J. Conway Walter of Horncastle. Of these cases, none of them were scientifically verified or studied. Some of them have even been proven to be fake assumptions, based on an internet website ran by a cryptozoologist. Although, the strange fact is, there has been some interbreeding in species that have produced hybrid offspring, such as with horses and donkeys, to create a mule. There is also mention of these occurrences in ancient texts, such as texts written by Aristotle and those found in Akkadian literature. Some of these accounts may have been considered jumping to conclusions, for their lack of data and scientific study. Because of these old accounts, there has been a term coined for these supposed dog-fox hybrids, calling them doxes or a dox. The idea is popular on the internet, however, with uncredible sources. The fact is the idea might be romantic to some, but not factual. Are chihuahuas related to fennec foxes? There has been a long-standing rumor that chihuahuas are related to fennec foxes. Some people think this to be true because of the similarities in their appearance. However, just like with so-called doxes, there is no scientific data to back up this claim. The two animals do not share the same genus and have too many genetic differences. It is also geographically improbable since the fennec fox comes from Africa and the chihuahua comes from Mexico. There was originally some confusion with fennec foxes as to whether they were part of the true fox genus of Vulpes. It wasn't until more data on them became more available that they eventually were classified as a fox in the Volpez genus. Either way, the genetic material of chihuahuas would not be compatible with that of a fennec fox. The science. The scientific data that does exist on genetics, genomes, and chromosomes should clear up any doubt that may still exist. Wolves, coyotes, dingoes, jackals, and domestic dogs all have the same count of 78 chromosomes and 39 pairs. They all share the same genus. This is key to why they can interbreed to create hybrid canids. Foxes have an incompatible number of chromosomes and genetic material to interbreed with a dog. The Volpes genus of foxes has around 38 chromosomes. This makes them unable to breed with a dog for the lack of compatibility in genus, DNA, and genetics. For two species to create offspring together, they have to at the very least be of the same genus. 
Foxes evolved into their own genus after they diverged from wolves millions of years ago. Likewise, for two species to breed, there must be compatible gametes with equal parts of genetic material. The biology. In biology, there are reproductive cells that contain half of the genetic material used to complete an organism. This means that these cells and foxes would have to have around 17 chromosomes, and the dogs would have to have around 35 chromosomes. To reproduce, both animals, as mentioned, would need to have compatible pairs of chromosomes to be diploid, meaning both parents having approximately half of the correct number of chromosomes to be compatible. In the case of the mule, both the horse and the donkey are of the same genus, the DNA from each parent being 32 chromosomes from the horse and 31 chromosomes from the donkey. This results in a haploid organism with 63 chromosomes. The fact is, there just aren't enough compatible pairs of chromosomes and foxes to breed with dogs. This means that breeding between a dog and a fox would be considered impossible. There has been no proven account of a dox that has been verified by the scientific community or brought forth to be studied. And that is the real truth behind the question, can foxes breed with dogs? No, they cannot. If you found this information useful, consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more awesome fox content. Also, check out allthingsfoxes.com for more information and awesome fox merch. Until next time. All things foxes.